One headline from the radio TV correspondence dinner Friday, nerd calls nerd, nerd. We'll elevate that as the speaker, John Hodgman, joins me next. That would make it nerd calls nerd, nerd interviewed by nerd. But first, time for countdowns number two story tonight's worst persons in the world, the bronze, the citizen patriots of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. It has 165 closed circuit TV cameras trained on it, more than Boston or San Francisco. They're monitored not by the police, but by a company to which the project was outsourced. The company turns out to have hired Lancaster's residents to do the monitoring and call police if they see something amiss. In other words, they're spying on one another. The LA Times quotes a businessman, a beer and soft drink distributor, who calls it, quote, a great thing and adds, there's nothing wrong with instilling fear. The beverage man's name is Jack Bauer. <laughs> the silver shared tonight by Charles Krauthammer, the Washington Post, and Bill Bennett of CNN, appalled that the president has referred to the chief Ayatollah as the supreme leader of Iran. Note the abject solicitousness with which the American president confers this honorific on a clerical dictator, says Krauthammer. We should be on the side of freedom and not on the side of this, this supreme leader, as our president keeps referring to, whines Bennett. Later the same day, John McCain referred to this guy as the supreme leader. In March, Senator Richard Lugar called him that four times in one hearing, hearing uh, and even William Crystal called him that in a column. It's a job title. But our winner is Cynthia Davis, who represents the 19th district in Missouri State House of Representatives. The gold that is found off the beaten path. Representative Davis provides a few commentaries to a news release about the state's summer food program, which keeps feeding disadvantaged kids even while school is out. In short, Representative Davis does not get it. She writes, who's buying dinner? Who's getting paid to serve the meal? Churches and other nonprofits can do this at no cost to the taxpayer if it is warranted. Bigger governmental programs take away our connectedness to the human family, our brotherhood, and our need for one another. Anyone under 18 can be eligible. Can't they get a job during the summer by the time they are 16? Hunger can be a positive motivator. What is wrong with the idea of getting a job so you can get better meals? Tip, if you work for McDonald's, they will feed you for free during your break. It really is all about increasing government spending, which means an increase in taxes for us to buy more free lunches and breakfasts. One in five kids in Missouri is already motivated by hunger, Ms. Davis. And last year, because the meals are offered at churches, the $9.5 million of federal money spent produced 3,700,000 meals at a cost of about two and a half bucks each. It is embarrassing enough that Cynthia let them eat McDonald's. Davis is a public servant paid by tax dollars, but she's also the chairwoman of the Missouri House Special Standing Committee on Children and Families. It would seem that her advocacy of hunger would disqualify her from that job and that we'd be better off if she was working at a McDonald's. Although clearly she has used and is using hunger as a positive motivator because she seems to have been starving her brain of the recommended daily dosage of intelligence and humanity and oxygen. Missouri State Representative Cynthia, are there no prisons? Are there no workhouses? Davis, today's worst person in the world. Governor, girlfriend in Argentina, quote, I love your tan lines. Uh-oh. That's next, but first time for Countdown's number two story, tonight's worst persons in the world. The bronze to Congressman Randy Nagabauer, Republican extremist of Texas. He is signed on as one of the five, count him, five co-sponsors of Florida loon Bill Posey's bill that would require birth certificates from presidential candidates. After he insisted on radio yesterday that the bill wouldn't apply to the Obama election because it wouldn't be retroactive, Nagabauer was also asked, so you believe the president, of the, uh, the, uh, the president is a U.S. citizen? His answer, quote, you know, I don't know. I've never seen him produce documents that would say one way or the other. Once again, World Net Daily, August 23rd, 2008, Drew Zahn, quote, a separate WND investigation into Obama's birth certificate utilizing forgery experts also found the document to be authentic. Read it, Congressman, if you know how to read. Also, the people who elected you are obviously idiots. That does not mean everybody else is. The bill wouldn't apply to Obama. You do realize that he's likely to run again in 2012, right? The runners up, Joyce E. Thoman, and there she is the president of the Republican Women of Anne Arundel County in Maryland. This pretty much speaks for itself. Quote, Obama and Hitler have a great deal in common in my view. Obama and Hitler used the blitzkrieg method to overwhelm their enemies. Fast carpet bombing, intent on destruction. Hitler's blitzkrieg bombing destroyed many European cities quickly and effectively. Obama is systematically destroying the American economy and with it, America! 
seriously, isn't comparing Obama to Hitler a little much, even for the Republican Party? Do you guys stand for anything? Why haven't you thrown this representative of your party out on her Anne Arundel? But the winner, State Representative Cynthia Davis of Missouri, when she first won this award, hands down on Monday, we told you that Ms. Davis had attached a series of what she called commentaries to report on the state's meal program for underprivileged kids while school was out for the summer, insisting these meals should be curtailed. Among her original observations, anyone under 18 can be eligible? Can't they get a job during the summer by the time they're 16? Hunger can be a positive motivator. What is wrong with the idea of getting a job so you can get better meals? Tip. If you work for McDonald's, they will feed you for free during your break. Representative Davis has not apologized for, retracted, nor clarified her remarks. She has blamed an editorial that misrepresented my views, even though her views were in her editorials, which she wrote. She continues to believe that one-fifth of school-age children in Missouri who face hunger every day have somehow chosen to do that, that this is a family rights issue. Quote, we all agree on the importance of feeding children, but we differ on who should do this. I believe this duty belongs to the parents. Instead of respecting this time-honored jurisdiction of the family, the summer feeding program treats families like they do not exist. You're wrong. It treats families like they don't have enough money to get meals for their kids and they need our help. When government takes over a family function like feeding children on a daily basis, we take a group of people who are capable and treat them like they are incapacitated. Look into your own heart and ask, what made a difference in my life as a child? Was it standing in a line for a cafeteria-style meal at school, or was it sitting around the kitchen table with others in your family? You're wrong. Gosh, Miss Davis, I think more than either of these things, what would have made a difference in my life as a child was if one day there was no breakfast and some idiot politician was trying to make sure I couldn't get one. And cafeteria-style meal at school? You're wrong! Missouri's summer meals are given out in churches, your own state, and you don't even know the simple facts. My goal is not to replace parents, but to reinforce them. The solution is found in helping those near us, not in yet another gigantic, federally funded, mass market approach. Bigger government invites fraud and robs people of the dignity of personal human relationships. You're wrong. Your goal here is to try to take an efficient program, providing needy kids millions of healthy meals at about two and a half bucks each, and turn it into another wedge weapon of paranoia to use on the buffoons who would vote for a political hack like yourself. My weekly capital report is a way for me to have two-way communications with my constituents and not a national manifesto for you to mock, distort, and to be quoted out of context. You're wrong. There was no distortion, no loss of context, and any mocking done here you have richly earned for today, for tomorrow, and for the rest of your tenure in public life, brief though the rest of us hope that might be. Yet to dare suggest there are alternatives for rational people to discuss and consequences of government taking over so much in people's lives is to be branded uh, an inhuman monster. Hey, on this we agree. Well phrased. You're right. You're an inhuman monster. And you chair the state's permanent committee for children? You are a positive menace to the health and well-being of the children of Missouri. Resign. State Representative Cynthia Davis of Missouri, once again, today's worst person in the world. And not for the last time.